Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. You see, Porkfest isn't just for libertines. Besides having a big tent, it is a big tent. Drop by campsites 2 and 4 to find the FSP Christians. There you can fellowship with normal people, or not normal, as the Spirit leads. Learn more at Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com. There are uh, multiple police, including the Bearcat, on the scene. Free keen videographers capturing a, an apparent swatting incident in downtown Keene, proving yet again what an asset they are to this part of New Hampshire, or that part of New Hampshire. Did you see Channel 9 getting video of this? Did you see anyone else getting video of this and posting it on YouTube? I didn't see any video of this incident on YouTube as of April 5th. Wanting free keen gone is like wanting to be partially blinded. It's like demanding to see less of what's going on in your town. I guess there are some people that do actually want to see less. Because free keen has a lot of enemies. Anyway, they were they were serving even their own enemies with this video. Don't argue with her. Don't argue with her. Don't argue with her. All the fucking time. No. You are from Connecticut. You are not. Bye. From have a, have a good night, ladies. Because they, oh look here, they're getting video of liberty activists being annoying. If I didn't like liberty activists, I would want that kind of thing exposed. This is Ian Freeman running the camera here, and he's actually, although the videography could still be better, he's still he's still improving. You know, I mean, this is look how steady this is. This is really well shot from a distance. Still walking around, right? They are still walking around, but you guys are acting like there's a dangerous situation here. Maybe it would be better if he could pan the camera up here to include people's faces, but again, the worst video is the one that didn't get shot. So, look, his video is a lot better than mine of this incident. Anyway, that wasn't really what I, uh, I logged on to talk about. It was some other freaking related stuff. Hey guys, can you get out please? That's the establishment. Is that officially? It's boss, yep, yeah, I'm the boss. Okay. I'm boss, I'm the boss. Sorry okay. guys. Thank you for not making these neckbeards do it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, At least you have some self-respect, unlike these betas. Alright. It was uh, actually this uh, incident, and some concerns I have about the way Free Keen is reacting. Again, as so often, it goes to the issue of imprecise wording. It never ceases to amaze me how Ian Freeman, who basically runs Free Keen, how awesome he can be at wording things on the fly on his radio show, you know, when he summarizes a, an issue or an incident with almost zero factual errors. He can still fall into the same traps that his enemies fall into, semantically. Here's one of his enemies falling into just such a trap. What is your viewpoint? On the fact that the Robin Hood is, uh, stole some property from Disney. I'm not sure what you're talking about. But I would love to talk to you further about it. What's your name, Dan? Is I it, would like you to answer Dan? the question I just asked. I'd be happy to. I just want to know your name. Is it Dan? No, no, you can call me Mr. Colcocker. And you can tell that this guy is the bad guy in this conversation because he's denouncing Free Keen for using an image. Who cares if someone takes an image from Disney and uses it in a fair use manner? Well, anyway, here's how Ian fell into the same trap as he was denouncing these. Uh, there were two people who showed up, uh, I guess, around the time of the Liberty Forum. And these people were urged to leave the Liberty-oriented events. People thought there was something very odd about them. Uh, they were very nervous about them. Free Keen writes, quote, The day after they arrived in Keene, they headed out to Manchester for the Liberty Forum, where they, according to various reports, proceeded to offend many of the people they encountered, unquote. 
Oh, actually, and, and I, I, I guess this is Ian Freeman writing here. He goes on, quote, They were asking questions that appeared to be designed to troll. Unquote. Okay, so again, you reveal your own flaws by what you denounce and the manner in which you denounce it. Presumably, there are some actual bad things that these folks did, and the video uh, here does speak for itself as to whether they might be the kind of people you'd want to be around. But since when is it really an offense to offend? Aren't we as freedom folks supposed to be... Well, <laughs> isn't that the last thing we should denounce anybody for? For offending? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.